Hi, and thank you for joining me at Sharing Recipes. Um, I'm just doing a little meal prep for my mom for lunch today because I have some appointments that I have to get to. And I grilled some steaks, some chicken, and some um, chicken apple sausage last night on the grill. And so I have meals for three days now. I have enough meat for three days of meals. So anytime I grill, I try to do that. So here's the chicken apple sausage, the grilled chicken. And let me see if I can get some of that steak up because that's what we're going to be using today in our meal prep. Let me move some of these out of the way. And you guys will have to tune in to see what I do with all the rest of the ingredients. So let me prop you. All right. So I'm just going to cut up my onion. Nice. I don't know why I'm using that baby knife. Y'all know my method to cut down the middle and peel off that outer layer. Looks it's like it's bad anyway. And I'm going to cut that cotton part off so that we don't use it. So I'm just pulling just probably about four sprigs of leaves off, not too much of the stem. I'm putting it in there with the bell peppers. I'm cut my onion. And you know, onions cook down. And since I'm using steak, I want to kind of give it a fajita flavor or style. So I'm going to... Um, cut the strips in half but not not too big half of a long fajita strip alright and I already have put my bell pepper in and I'm going to do the Turn my fire down on low heat to give those onions time to catch up to the bell pepper. And give me time to chop up our steak. So the best way to chop up steak is of course when it's cold. Because everything is congealed together, solidified. And so, you know, it just, the knife just runs right smoothly through it like you're cutting, I don't know, butter. <laughs> and I seasoned these steaks really well last night. They're, oh my gosh. Uh, maybe I should have showed you guys that. Next time I make some steaks, I will. But I just cubed it, cut some horizontal and vertical, made them small. You see all that seasoning and flavor on there? Yep. I'll pack that on. Let me put this in the pot and I'll show you. And my daughter's probably going to want some, so I'm going to get another piece of steak and add that to it. Just cut half of this up. 
And I'm doing some cutting pieces at angles and then I'm going to turn them and cut them the other way. And I potentially have the same amount for both. That's how I measure certain. See all that seasoning on there? It tastes so good too. So since the meat is already seasoned, I'm not even gonna have to add anything else to it. Wash my hands. Stir a meal. And I'm just going to continue cooking this on low. Oh, that's the sausage from this morning. I made breakfast. <laughs> Sorry. There. Couple more cilantro pieces. This adds to the flavor. Cilantro and beef goes really well together. So does chicken, pork, fish. Depending on the fish and what type of flavor you're going for, you know. If you're using some like red sauce on it, then cilantro would be a nice addition. To the fish. There. And I'm just using as much as I can of my cilantro because it's all, um, you know, the rest of it I had used most of it and the rest of it is ready to throw away. So I'm going to throw the rest of that in the trash. It's my trash bag right now. Alright. If you don't use cilantro a lot, tip for today, if you're not a big avid cilantro user, but sometimes you buy it and you, you need it, um, you can either grow it, which I used to do that. I used to grow my own cilantro, um, but you have to really have the ideal conditions for it. Um, or you can purchase it like that in a bunch Go ahead and chop it up and freeze it. Um, you could use um, melted butter. Put the cilantro, like use an ice cube tray. You know what I'm talking about? Them old school ice cube trays or even the new school ones, the silicone. Like the ones I use when I paint. I wonder if my mom has one in here. Mm. Well, even this will work. This is an ice cube tray. So any type of ice cube tray. You would melt, you would put the cilantro in here, melt the butter, pour it in here, put it in the freezer, and then whenever you cook, you have cilantro flavored butter to cook with. And that works with parsley, that works with um, any herbs and spices. And it has to be some type of oil substance that will congeal. That's why I recommend using butter or margarine. Because when you put it in the freezer, it'll harden right back up. And it'll be easy to, for you to uh, manipulate. Just get one out, cook with it, and keep it stored in there until you need it. You know? Then at that time, you can put it in the fridge. I recommend covering it so that the flavors of other foods that's in the 